all right good morning and welcome to master talker online class in today's video we'll be talking about um, linear expansivity right if today is your first day of watching our video please click the subscribe button okay so now let's talk about linear expansivity linear expansivity is defined as what uh the the change in length per unit length per unit change in temperature very simple or you call it increase in length per unit length per unit increase in temperature very simple and then know that linear expansivity is equally, is equally called, uh, you can call it coefficient of linear expansivity. Sometimes they call it coefficient of linear expansivity or just linear expansivity. It is what? Increase in length per unit length per unit increase in temperature. And don't forget that, that your temperature must be in Kelvin because linear expansivity is measured in Kelvin. We represent it with this, measured in Kelvin. Okay, per Kelvin, sorry, per Kelvin, not just Kelvin. Per Kelvin, but the, the Kelvin is down per kelvin okay so we have that what uh linear expansivity linear expansivity now we have three types of expansivity we have linear expansivity area expansivity and cubic expansivity we are talking about linear expansivity so we have it as what increase increase in length per unit length that is over original length original length then times what increase in temperature increase in temperature okay so linear expansivity will represent it with what alpha is equal to what change in length over what original length then times change in what temperature right so that length cancel length length is in meter meter cancel meter and what is left is kelvin so that is why it is measured in what in per kelvin is measured in per kelvin so if you break this down you have that what linear expansivity is what change in length means the the, the preceding length minus the original length all over what or the new length minus the original length all over um the new uh, so the original temp, uh, length then times what the new temperature minus the original temperature okay so now let us assume let us assume that um that theta two sorry theta theta one minus theta zero is equal to what just theta so we have that what alpha is equal to what l one minus l zero all over this formula is very very important so minus l zero all over what l zero theta okay if i cross multiply i'll be having that what l one minus l zero is equal to what alpha l alpha theta l zero let me write it like this so this one moving here i'll have the what l1 is equal to what l0 minus what alpha theta l0 okay so permit me to finish it up here i'll be having that what i want to get the new length the new length l1 will not be what if you factorize if you decide to factorize you have what l0 in bracket of one minus what alpha theta so this is the formula to get the new length the new length okay this is the formula to get your new length all right then but the thing is that you don't need to know this formula you don't need to remember this formula once you know this one you can get anything you are looking for once you know this one you can get anything you are looking for so let us solve some calculations to illustrate that so the first question we're going to solve said uh number one said a metal a metal rod of length 40 cm at 20 degrees celsius is heated is heated through through a temperature of 45 degrees celsius then i say if if the new length if the new length of the rod is 40.05 cm then i say calculate the linear expansivity calculate the linear expansivity of the rod okay solution now this is a very simple question now so what do you do let us bring out our parameters the first thing they gave us is the original length the original length there is what 40 cm 
and the, the original temperature there is what 20 cm uh, so 20 degrees celsius so convert to kelvin immediately because the SI unit of linear expansivity is in Kelvin. So I have that what? 20 plus 273, which will give you what? 20 plus 273. 20 plus 273. 293. So I have 293 Kelvin. So the next thing they gave me is uh, the, the, new, the new length is what? 40.00 cm. The new temperature is what? Uh, 45 degrees Celsius, which is what? 45 plus 273, which will give you what? 45 plus 273. So I have 318 Kelvin. So I know my formula that says that linear expansivity is what? Change in length of original length, then change in temperature. So what do I have? L1 minus L0 all over what? L zero then in bracket of theta one minus theta zero. Sorry, please know that some people use L one, L two, and L one, where L one is their own original length. So please don't be confused. Okay, uh -huh. if your own textbook is, use, is using L two minus L one, or maybe your lecturer is using L two minus L one, use the same L two minus L one. It's the same thing. So if it's, if you're using L two minus and you have L two minus L one. All over that same L1, then in bracket of theta 2 minus theta 1 is the same thing. It's the same thing. So it depends on what the person wants to use. Okay. So me, I like using L1 and L0. So my linear expansivity will now be uh, my L1 is um, 40.05. Sorry, 0.05. 40.05 minus 40 itself. All over that same 40 in bracket of what? 318 minus 293 so what do we have 0 0.05 all over 40 in bracket of minus 293 25 so what do i have 0 0.05 divided by times 40 divided by 1000 so what do i have 0 0.2 i have 0 0.05 divided by my last answer so i have two four one two three four five per kelvin or you say what five times ten is for one two three four five times ten is for minus five per kelvin per kelvin okay so the next question question number two Please don't always forget that your temperature must be in Kelvin. Question number two said an iron, an iron rod of length of length 20 cm is heated, is heated through 60, ke 60 Kelvin. Calculate its it increase it increase in in length calculate its increase in length then i say the linear expansivity of the rod the linear expansivity of the rod is 1.2 times 10 raised power minus 5 per kelvin okay solution so what do we do what do we do the first thing we do is to get the original length. The original length of this thing is 20 cm. Okay? Then, we are looking for the change in length. The change in length. We are not looking for the new length. We say we should get, get the change in length. Okay? So, we are not looking for the new length. What we are looking for is the change in length. Mm -hmm. The change in length is what we are looking for. And not the new length. So, you have to be very, very... Uh, they say calculate the increase in length. Increase in length is something as change in length. Okay? They are not asking you the new length. Uh -huh. So I know my formula that said that what? Uh, alpha linear expansivity is what? Increase in length of original length, then increase in temperature. Increase in temperature. Increase in temperature. Increase in temperature. That is theta. Let's just use theta. So my theta they gave me here is just 60 Kelvin. 
Okay, so I know that my change in length will now be what alpha theta L0, which is what uh, 1.2 times 10 raised power minus 5 times 60, then times what 20. So if you multiply everything out, you'll be having 0 0.0 0 0.0144 cm so this is the increase in temperature then but if they are asking you the new length the new length you tell them that what increase in uh, length is equal to what uh l2 sorry okay let's use l1 minus l0 okay so this one they're giving me 0 0.0144 is equal to what my l1 is what i'm looking for minus what 20 so color light times so after your l1 will now be what 20 plus that 0 0.0 144 okay which will give you what 20.0144 cm okay so this is the new length but that is what they are what that is not what they are asking us the only thing they are asking us is what now she calculate the the what the increase in length so know the difference please know the difference so the next thing we are being asked to find is um question number three Question number three said, what, what is meant by the statement, what is meant by the statement, the linear, sorry, the linear expansivity the linear expansivity of a solid is 1.0 times 10 raised power minus 5 per Kelvin. Okay? Then the B part of the question, this is A. The B part of the question said steel rod. Okay, steel bar each of length. Steel bars each of length. 3 meter at uh, 29 degrees Celsius are, are to be used for construction. For constructing, okay, for constructing a rail, a rail line. And I say if the if the linear expansivity if the linear expansivity of the steel is 1.0 times 10 raised power minus 5 per kelvin then i say calculate calculate the safe the safety gap that that must be left that must be left that must be left between between successive successive bars if if the if the highest if the highest temperature expected is 40 41 degrees celsius okay so the first one said uh, what is meant by the statement the linear expansivity of a solid is 1.0 times 10 raised power minus 5 all right you tell them that what that the linear expansivity of a solid is 1.0 times 10 raised power minus 5 means that the increase in length per unit length per unit rise in temperature when the solid is heated will be equal to that number okay just follow the way you define linear expansivity to to do what to say the answer okay you tell them that what that the increase in length per unit length per unit rise in temperature or per unit increase in temperature of the solid is equal to what 1.0 when um, is equal to 1.0 when heated okay so solution so i've gotten the the solution of the first one then for the second one they say we should calculate what 
the gap. The gap is simply means the increase, that is the change, the change in the length. Okay, the change in the length is the gap. So, what do they give us now? Uh, they gave us the first thing they gave us is um, okay, that the original length, the original length is three meter. Okay, and they gave us the first temperature, they gave us theta naught is what 29 degrees celsius they gave us theta one as what 41 degrees celsius all right so theta which is then as what theta one minus theta zero will now be what 41 minus 29 so what do you have you have 12 12 degrees celsius okay so i now know that what let me complete it here i now know that my linear expansivity is what change in length all over what original length then change in temperature theta so i'm looking for the change in length so my change in length will now be what alpha l zero theta which is what my alpha there linear expansivity is 1.0 times 10 raised power minus 5 times my original length is 3 then times my rise in temperature is 12 so if you calculate everything you will be having that uh, you're having that the change in temperature is 3.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 meter. So the gap that should be given in between the bars is the change in temperature, which is what? 3.6 times 10 raised to the power minus 4. Okay? In meters. Right? So why? Because the other one was in meter. So that's why you leave your answer in the same unit. Okay? So question number 4. Question number 4 said a wire a wire 20 cm long is heated is heated from a temperature is heated from a temperature of 5 degrees celsius to 55 degrees celsius then i say if if the change if the change in length if the change in length is 0.0, .0 to 0 cm calculate calculate the the linear expansivity calculate the, the linear expansivity so solution so the first thing they gave me is the original length which is what 20 cm the next they gave me is change in the length which is what 0 0.020 0 cm okay so the next thing they gave me now is what theta zero is what five degrees celsius and theta one is equal to what 55 degrees celsius so my theta normally should be theta one minus theta zero which is what 55 minus five which is what 50 degrees celsius so i know that my linear expansivity is what change in length all of original length then change in temperature so which is what change in length they gave me already a 0 0.020 divided by 20 in times times this one 50 so 0 0.020 all over what 1100 so what do you have if you divide that you will not be having um you'll be having zero point how many zeros four one two three four two per kelvin so which is what 2.0 times 10 is power minus five per kelvin okay so we're going to solve the last question here before we enter uh, area expansivity. So the last question we are going to solve, question number five for this said that a rod, a rod of length 50 meters and a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius is heated is heated to 70 degrees celsius then they say calculate its its new length calculate its new length all right then i give you that the linear expansivity linear expansivity of the rod okay is equal to 
1.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. Okay. Per Kelvin. All right. So solution. This is a very simple question. So the first thing they gave me, in fact, I told that you don't need to know any other formula apart from your normal formula that you know. Okay. So they gave me our theta 1, sorry, theta naught at 60 degrees Celsius. Our theta 1 at what? 70 degrees Celsius. So our normal theta will now be theta 1 minus theta 0, which is what? 70 minus 60, which is what? 10 degrees Celsius. Okay. So the next thing they gave me is the original length. The original length is 50 meters. And they gave me that my linear expansivity is 1.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 per Kelvin. So, but I know that my normal distance linear expansivity is what? Change in length over what? Original length, then change in temperature. So, first of all, let us get what change in length is. Our change in length, our change in length will now be what? Alpha L0 theta, which is what? My alpha 1.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 5 times my L0. My L0 is um, 50. Then times my theta itself, theta which is, which is what? 10. If you multiply this out, you'll be having uh, zero. Sorry, one point two times ten raised to power one point two times ten times ten raised to power minus five. Okay, then times fifty times ten. So I have. 0 0.06 0 0.006 meters so this is the change in temperature and uh, sorry the change in the length but i know that change in length is something as saying original uh, the new length minus the change the original length okay so if you now put this one i now have 0 0.006 is equal to what the original length they gave me was 50 minus l sorry the new length i'm looking for minus 50 so this one will now move here to have 0 0.006 plus 50 is equal to the new length I'm looking for. So the new length will now be what? 50.006 in meters. Very, very simple. So the next thing we'll talk about is what? Area expansivity. Area expansivity. Okay. All right. Area expansivity. Area expansivity. Right? Now, area expansivity. Now, area expansivity is defined the same way you define linear expansivity. But in linear expansivity, what we are using is length, length, length. But in area expansivity, we will not be using area, area, area. So, Remember that linear expansivity is defined as what? Increase in length per unit length per unit increase in temperature. So here, what do you define it as what? Increase in area per unit area per unit increase in temperature. Very simple. Okay? So we have that word area expansivity. We, we, we represent this one as beta. The other one is alpha, beta, then the last one is now gamma. Okay? So I have area, area expansivity. Area expansivity, which is represented with what? Beta, okay? Is equal to what? Uh, increase, increase in area over what? The original area. Times, then increase in temperature. Okay? So what do we have? Beta is equal to what? Area change in area over what the original area then times what the change in temperature that is the change in temperature or you just call it theta or just call it theta let just theta be the change in temperature all right so we know that what that beta will now be what change in area is what the new one minus what the original one all over what that original one times what you know that this one means the new one minus the original one. So that is that. It's a very, very simple formula to remember. 
so where you know that what that uh, a1 is what the new area the new area a naught is what the original area original area okay then what a sorry ellen uh, theta one is what the new the new temperature that new temperature must be in kelvin so this is what the original 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 temperature and it must be in kelvin so this one uh, uh, area expansivity is equally measured in per kelvin area expansivity is equally measured in what in per kelvin now another very important thing you need to know is that what that uh, area expansivity is equal to what two times linear expansivity okay area expansivity is equal to what two times linear expansivity very important formula area area expansivity area expansivity is equal to what two times linear expansivity so area expansivity is beta is equal to what two times alpha so beta is equal to what two alpha very very important formula very important that area expansivity is equal to what two times linear expansivity so let us solve some calculations to illustrate what we have just done okay the first question the first question said the cross-sectional area cross-sectional area of a metal the cross-sectional of a metallic rod is four meters squared when the temperature when the temperature is two degrees celsius and 6.8 meters squared at 25 degrees celsius then i say calculate calculate the coefficient of the superficial expansivity okay now please note that what uh, area expansivity is equally known as what the coefficient of what superficial okay superficial sorry the what the coefficient of superficial expansivity and then don't forget that um, um linear expansivity is known as what the um, coefficient of linear expansivity i told you is equally called coefficient of linear expansivity but this one is called uh, the coefficient of superficial expansion coefficient of super, superficial expansion so they say calculate the calculate the calculate i the coefficient coefficient of the super Official expansion. Okay, I I. They say calculate the coefficient of linear expansion. Solution. Okay, these are the two things they asked me to calculate. So, but first of all, I know that the first area, which is the original area they gave me, is four meters square. Okay, they gave me the second area, which is what um 6.8 meter square so my change in area should be equal to what a2 or a1 minus a naught okay some people use two and one I, like i said before so which is what 6.8 minus 4 which is what 2.8 meter square so they gave me theta naught the original temperature which is two degrees celsius so but the new temperature they gave me was what 25 degrees celsius so my change in temperature theta, which is equal to what? Theta 1 minus theta 0, okay? Which is what? 25 minus 2, which is what? 23 degrees Celsius. So I know that my area expansivity beta is equal to what? Change in area over that original area, then change in temperature. Very simple. So let me now put it. Change in area, I have gotten it as 2.8 all over. Change in, uh, sorry, original area, which is what? 4 times the change in temperature is what 
23. So you will now have um, 2.8. 2.8 divided by 4 divided by 23. So I have I have what? 3.04 times 10 raised to power minus 2. So that is my area as my per Kelvin, you know, area expansivity. So which is that now saying what? 0 0.030412 uh -huh. per Kelvin. So now I have gotten my area expansivity, but they say we should equally get our linear expansivity. Okay? They say we should equally get our linear expansivity. What I will tell them that what? That area expansivity is equal to what? 2 times linear expansivity. So to get my linear expansivity will not be what? A, uh, area expansivity divided by 2, which is what? 0 0.0304 divided by 2. So if you now divide it by 2, you'll be having divided by 2, which is um, 1.5 times 1.52 times 10 raised to power minus 2, which is what? 0 0.0. 52 okay 0 0.0152 sorry 0 0.0152 okay so per kelvin please don't forget 